Hi everyone, Jack here, Rheumatology Physio. I'm messing around with some camera setups, uh, microphone setup as well. I thought I'd record some short videos. So, um, paper released recently, I'll put a link below, um, that talks about the addition of different symptoms in recognition or um, likelihood of development of axial spondyloarthritis. And what they showed was that if you add chest wall or thoracic pain to inflammatory low back pain symptoms in those with a family history of axial spondyloarthritis, then it increases the sensitivity quite significantly. So that's really interesting. So if we're thinking about people who are presenting with inflammatory back pain, and then we find that they have either thoracic pain or chest wall pain, then we will be much more suspicious. What I would say is I'm going to be very suspicious in people with a family history of axial spondyloarthritis and inflammatory low back pain anyway, but then we're going to be even more suspicious if those increased areas like the thoracic spine and or the chest wall are involved, then we're going to have an increased suspicion as well. And I'll be back with more bite-sized chunks of rheumatology help. See you soon.